हेलो फ्रेंड्स अगेन दिस इज मोहित एंड टुडे आई विल डिस्कस वन मोर इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन विच इज कॉमन फॉर ऑल इंटरव्यू एंड टुडे माय टॉपिक इज राइट ए प्रोग्राम टू रिमूव डुप्लीकेट एलिमेंट इन एरे सो टुडे आई विल डिस्कस ऑल द स्टेप्स हाउ टू डू दैट एंड यू आर एबल टू राइट इन फ्रंट ऑफ द इंटरव्यूअर बिकॉज देर इज नो नीड टू मेमोराइज दिस कोड एंड दिस इज द हेल्पफुल फॉर automation testing profile and java development profile as well so this is the common interview question so i have a one piece of the uh, code and i will this i will do that code for dry run and to and you are able to understand all the stuff so let's move in the practical part so yeah so as usual the very simplest way to write to remove the duplicate element in the array so just you know that i took one a class class name i took the remove duplicate element and i took main method here and again i took one array this is the int type of array and what i did here i took one for loop so how it will work i will explain now sorry and go in the paint so you can see i took one array this array i took so array will start from index how the array is working array is working based on the index so zero an index always a start from zero so now we have a piece of the code and this array is looks like this and array is always a start from a zero so i took index 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 okay so now i took this so we have a 1 2 3 4 5 7 seven, seven Nine, nine. So just I want to remove one more. So you can see here the array length is nine because array start from zero index. So now what will happen? Here the length is nine. So this I took one for loop here and int equal to zero. I zero equal to less than. So I will explain. I again I took one more count variable. I initialize a zero and again I took one more for loop. So I put it down one more condition. If a of zero equal to equal to j, if this condition is true, then count will increase plus one one. So what will happen here? I will discuss. So if i equal to zero, okay, i equal to zero, zero less than equal to zero less than equal to length is nine. when what will happen this condition is true then the loop then control will come here again here so now it will check the condition here j equal to 0 then it will check 0 less than equal to 0 yes condition is true then 0 a of 0 equal to equal to a of 0 e yeah. then count will increase then count value equal to 1 again in the second iteration what will happen i equal to 0 and 0 0 less than equal to sorry uh yeah 0 less than equal to 9 yes then again what will happen j will become 1 1 greater than equal to 0 no this condition is false again what will what, what will happen this loop will be terminated this loop will be terminated okay so this loop will be terminated because this condition is false this loop will be terminated and will i'll check this condition here count less than equal to count count you know greater than uh, one greater than equal to count yes this condition is true now then a of 0 is what a of 0 is uh one it will be printed one again it will go in the second iteration then what will the what is the second iteration i will become 
I will become one. Okay, again, what will happen? It will come here. This condition is true. I greater than equal to nine. Yes, then it will come in this loop. Again, what will happen? J equal to zero. Then it will check the condition zero less than equal to uh, what? One. Yes, this condition is true. So what will happen? It will check a of zero equal to equal to a of j. A of zero equal to equal to a of j. No. A of zero equal to no. It will not. Then count count will not increase. Count is still zero. Again, what will happen? Zero. Then one less than equal to one. This condition is true now, right? This condition is true. A equal to a equal to equal to yes. Then count will become what? Count will become count will become one. Then again it will come here and it will print a of one. A of one is two. So like that this iteration will work and it will check the condition which it will check the condition i one greater than equal to one greater than equal to count then it will print only if the count will become more than uh, greater than two it won't be print so like that this iteration will work and and duplicate element will be removed so i hope so you are able to understand this code and do dry run without dry run you cannot explore your knowledge and uh, I, I, I tell you very thank you for watching this video and subscribe my channel, share my videos to your friend and coming days I am making more videos not even for you, you are cracking purpose for the interview, you are able to work in the company, it will help in the real time also as well. So thanks for watching this video, thank you so much.